Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are the morning after the installation of this X grip from Ram Mount. Hey guys, Kyle Bradshaw here, and welcome to the garage. Today, I want to show you a very quick installation of one of my favorite motorcycle phone mounts. It's called the X grip from Ram. It's this guy right here. Essentially, you just open this guy up and you slip your phone into the mount. You then pull these tethers up and over the corners. Now, this allows the phone to not slip around or move while it's going down the road. I'll show you that here in just a second. But what it also allows you to do is to choose one of three different arms. You've got a little tiny short arm here. It's about two inches. We've got a three inch arm and a six inch arm. So you can choose whichever arm works best for your application. We'll get into that as soon as we get this thing installed and I'll show you the differences between the arms and why you might want to choose one over the other. Now my favorite thing about the Ram mount is the fact that it's so portable. I can have just a single little ball attached to each of the motorcycles and I can untwist the arm and move it from bike to bike in a matter of seconds. I really like that feature. Now what I was getting to earlier is when the Ram Mount X grip was originally produced, it didn't have this little rubber stopper here and it didn't have the rubber tether here in the back. When these arms are opened and the phone is inserted, you have this rocking motion that can happen as you drive down the road. In order to fix that, they went ahead and created this rubber tether that then goes around each of the four corners and makes this phone stable. Now you might have noticed when I put this phone into the mount that I've already got the rock form mount. The main motorcycle that I ride has a rock form attached to it, but that mount's about 50 bucks. I really didn't want to put that rock form mount, which is about 50 bucks, on three or four different motorcycles. And especially a motorcycle that I'm just borrowing for a couple weeks, it's really cost prohibitive. So tonight I want to show you how simple the installation is. There's just a couple tools here that we're going to need. The first of those is going to be the Allen key or the Allen wrench in order to remove one riser bolt. Once we get that single riser bolt removed, we're gonna take this guy here. This is the through ball from Ram. We're then gonna throw this eight millimeter bolt down through the middle, and I'll show you how that size matches up to the OEM bolt here in a second. This goes into the bolt hole that we just removed the OEM riser bolt from, and that's it. That's really as simple as the installation is. You then choose the length of arm that you want and install your X grip and you're ready to roll. So now let's move the camera a little bit closer so you can see the action step by step right up here close. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and pop a little cap off like so. And we're gonna find the Allen key that's gonna be the right size. Nice. So this actually takes the same size Allen key as the ram mount we're gonna be replacing it with. <clears throat> now you can see here the head of the screw, even though this is a much longer screw, we're going down through the top of this through ball, like so. And that's gonna give us that perfect length. All right, now we're gonna be able to take a look and see which one of these mounts that we're gonna want. And then we're gonna grab, let's try this little mount first. Gets it there. I think I'm gonna want a little further out this direction. So let's try the medium arm. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm gonna want it up here. Let's go ahead and swap it. But I do like the length of the long arm. I think I like the phone sitting a little bit off, kind of right here, instead of back here. Yeah, that looks about perfect. All right, hopefully we have enough of the cockpit here visible. Real quick, I want to hold these other arms up so you can see the different lengths side by side. Three different lengths of arms. This one wouldn't be bad, but I really like that that's out there close to the mirror. I don't know why I like it, but to each their own. Everyone has their own personal preference, and this is the setup I think I'm going to run with for a little bit. If I don't like that, I can always pull this arm out of the backpack and make this change up pretty easily and quickly. Well, that was a really quick and easy installation of the Ram X Grip onto an Africa Twin. Now, that installation is exactly the same for just about any motorcycle out there. 
That through ball comes with three different length screws. So 99% of the time you can find the proper length screw in order to be able to make this mount happen. Now there are so many different ways to get that one inch ball onto your motorcycle. There are mounts that go to your clutch perch. There are mounts that go on top of your brake reservoir. There are mounts that go to your mirror mount. There are so many different mounts or ways that you can get that single ball onto your motorcycle. You then get to choose the length of arm and the Ram X-Grip. If you've been debating on which phone not to get, I highly recommend the X-Grip. As you can see, it's got my phone just positioned to the left so that my instrument panel is all open and clear. And it's really easy if I need to reach up and do a swipe or something, boom, it's right here. Now, most gloves these days are coming touchscreen, so you literally can just reach down, hit your button, and everything that you need is right there at your fingertips in a hands-free display. That's it, the X-Grip from Ram Mount, one of the easiest to mount, and definitely the easiest to transfer from bike to bike, phone mount for your motorcycle. I'm Kyle Bratchel. If you like what you saw today, please give me a thumbs up. If you want more information like this coming directly to your inbox, hit that subscribe button, and more importantly, the notification bell so you can be part of the notification squad. Until next time, and as always, take care and ride safe.